In the CEO's office, Sally pleaded innocent to posting threatening messages to Hope. Thorne and Katie were adamant that it had been Sally, and Katie couldn't believe it was the way Sally would repay Eric and Hope for the job they'd given Sally. Sally persisted in her innocence, even after Thorne and Katie had showed Sally the threats. Thorne said an IT person had traced the threats back to Sally, but Sally replied that the post seemed pretty tame for a serious stalker. Sally thought Katie and Thorne were overreacting and had targeted Sally because it was easy. Thorne and Katie claimed to have investigated until the trail had stopped at Sally. Sally advised them to keep looking because she hadn't done it. Thorne told Sally to prove she hadn't done it. Sally said she couldn't. Katie asked if they were supposed to just believe her. Sally didn't care if they did or not, but she believed that if they were concerned about who was doing it, they needed to keep looking because the culprit was still out there. At Zoe's place, Zoe stroked a white cat named Harry and told it that she'd happened to run into the other woman that day. She assured the cat that Daddy was nearby and would be coming back to them. Zoe had known that Xander's uncle and cousin lived in Los Angeles, and Xander had talked about working at Forrester someday. It had been a safe bet for Zoe that he'd turn up in L.A., and Zoe had used Wyatt Spencer as her way in. Still stroking and talking to the cat, Zoe explained that she'd sweet-talked her way into painting Wyatt a mural because his mother and exes worked at Forrester. Zoe pitied Sally, whom Zoe hadn't meant to get involved. Zoe had had to use someone else's computer for the posts to avoid them being traced back to her. Zoe gazed at three framed photos of Xander. She picked up one and said it had been good to see him again, just not with Emma. Zoe didn't think Emma would be a problem much longer. After that, he and Zoe would be together, and Zoe wouldn't let him out of her sight again. At the beach house, Liam stopped by to see Wyatt. Wyatt figured his brother should be somewhere changing diapers. Liam asked why Wyatt and Sally weren't doing whatever he and Sally did. Wyatt bragged about doing it already, and the grossed out Liam begged Wyatt to stop talking about it. Liam asked how Sally's job was going. Wyatt said not a lot of foresters were fond of her, but she'd make believers out of them. Liam complimented the mural, and Wyatt explained that an artist he'd met on the boardwalk had talked him into it. Noticing the bags under Liam's eyes, Wyatt quipped that they were getting darker and darker. Liam said to bite him. He stated that it was temporary, and Kelly would soon sleep through the night. Before you know it, Steffi and I will, Liam said. You'll have another one, Wyatt interjected. He said it would start all over again. Wyatt asked if Liam would give Kelly a sibling. Liam stated that he kind of already had. Wyatt was amazed that Steffi could get pregnant again so quickly. No. No. Not Steffi. Dot 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 hope. Liam muttered. Wyatt was shocked. He asked what Steffi thought. Liam said Steffi was handling it. Wyatt reasoned that there was handling it, and then there was handling it. Wyatt was sure Hope was stoked to be pregnant by the man she'd never stopped loving. The brothers had beers as Liam explained that Steffi had decided she was ready to get married. Liam said he loved Steffi, but his head had been spinning. He needed time. He had a child with Steffi and one on the way with Hope. Liam it was his new reality. Wyatt interjected that Liam loved both women, which was also a reality. Wyatt didn't want to be in such a position and asked how one decided. The brothers agreed that someone would get hurt either way. Liam asked if Wyatt had any advice, but Wyatt said he wasn't an expert at relationships. Wyatt was sure Hope had expectations, and if not, she should. Liam said he'd always be there for Hope, for both women. Wyatt asked if that meant Liam would stay with Kelly and Steffi. I didn't say that, Liam replied. Wyatt asked if Liam was leaning that way. I didn't say that, either, Liam stated. Wyatt called it complicated. Liam hated that word. Raising his voice, Wyatt asserted that Liam had back and forth between those women for years, and the stakes were even higher because two children were involved. Liam said it was all he'd been thinking about, but it would be several months before the baby arrived. Wyatt asked if everyone would just be in limbo. Liam replied that he knew he couldn't do that. Liam had been ready to forget what had gone on with Bill and Steffi. Wyatt said Liam had another family in the making, and it put the brakes on Liam and Steffi. Liam replied that he couldn't ignore what had happened, and he didn't want to. Liam said Wyatt was right, Liam did love hope. 
White replied that there were not two Liams. Liam stated that no matter what happened, he could only see his baby with Hope as a blessing. At the Cliff House, Hope visited Steffi. Hope guessed it had been a shock to Steffi when Liam had told her about Hope's pregnancy. Steffi agreed that it had been, but she said it didn't change anything. Hope was surprised that Steffi didn't think Hope's pregnancy changed anything. For you. But I'm talking about Liam and me, our situation, Steffi replied. Hope asked what situation that was, and Steffi said she and Liam were living together and raising a child. They weren't married, but it was enough for Steffi. Hope wondered if that were true because it sounded to her like Steffi was sending Hope a message. Steffi claimed to be just saying where she and Liam stood. Despite that the fact that I'm carrying this child, Hope said. Steffi replied that she had a child with Liam, too. Hope said she respected it, and ideally, a child should have both parents. Steffi conveyed that if Hope believed it, then she'd do what was right and refrain from interfering in Steffi's family and life with Liam. Steffi thought it was important that the women understood each other. She said she and Liam would get married soon, and they already had a baby. Hope asserted that she'd just learned about her pregnancy, and she and Liam believed it was a blessing. Steffi claimed to believe it, too and said she'd never not want Hope to have her own child. Hope figured Steffi just wished Hope wasn't sharing it with Liam. Steffi didn't believe Liam would abandon Hope's child, but Steffi said he had chosen to be with her and Kelly. Hope thought it was too soon for either of them to speak for Liam, who'd need time and space to process it without pressure. Hope said she'd never interfere with Steffi's family, but Steffi needed to know that Hope was fighting for her child and her family which were Hope's first and only priorities. Claiming not to be speaking for Liam, Steffi said she was just telling Hope how things were. Hope corrected that it was how things had been, and Hope was carrying a child that she wanted very much. Steffi added that Hope wanted Liam very much, too. Hope replied that she and Liam had been denied their future many times, but she was carrying a child that they both wanted. Hope wanted a future with the father of her child and she wouldn't just hand him over to Steffi. Steffi quipped that Liam wasn't a thing that Hope could hand over. Steffi explained that they weren't playing house together. She and Liam were sleeping side by side, and Liam was taking care of the baby. Hope expected Liam to be there for his daughter. Steffi said it wasn't just for Kelly, but for Steffi, too. Hope believed Liam wanted to be with her. Steffi asked if Liam had said so. Hope noted that they'd had almost gotten married. Steffi said Liam hadn't gone through with it after learning about Bill's ploys. Instead, Liam had returned home. That was then. This is now, Hope concluded. Steffi accused Hope of trying to steal a man. Hope denied it. She said that while Liam was taking time to process things and decide his future, she wouldn't give up. She planned to make her desires clear. She wanted to live with Liam and their child as a family. Steffi called Hope naive and said it was a fantasy. Steffi asserted that a life for Hope and Liam wouldn't happen. Hope had figured Steffi would say such things, but Hope didn't think it was a fantasy at all. Steffi asked if Hope really thought Liam would go back to her. Hope did. She said there was only one woman he could commit to, and at the bottom of her heart, she knew that woman would be her. 